Merry Christmas! What is going on, FG3000? Back in the place to be, and welcome back to Eminence in Shadow already. So they have a holiday event underway. It's called Holiday Rhapsody, and this event is pretty straightforward. If you play any of the Konosuba style events, it functions pretty similarly, right? So you have event quests, normal and hard difficulty. Defeat the stages, you're gonna get two types of currency. One currency is called a Holiday Award. This allows you to summon the Holiday Boss, which you will fight in this video. And then the other currency is the Event Shop Coin, which will allow you to buy things out of the, guess what? the event shop now there's a little extra controversy tied to this event shop which we'll talk about a little bit later in the video um as far as the hard mode is concerned this allows you to not only get those same exact currencies but it also allows you to get some of these blue crystals which will increase the rarity of your character so a very straightforward event right pretty much exactly what we see in most gacha games now if we take a look at the event shop to kind of see what's on offer um we have a candy cane magic drop which is going to give us some uh, magic gear here to craft some summon tickets a magic crystal which is a universal currency to awaken characters with, which is really nice. So now we know how we're going to get these rainbow crystals. Um, some cash shop currency, um, some of the duplicate currency for the shop. That This is the currency that you get um, after you summon duplicates from the banner. You also have some blue crystals for Iris, some EXP currency, polish, you know, very basic things that you pretty much see in most event shops. So on top of the basic event shop that we see in all gacha games, Eminence and Shadow created something called a premium shop. Now you can see this is locked now let's take a look at what's on offer here first right a at first glance it's really nothing special right you got wooden gear you can get all this stuff from sweeping stages stone gear etc etc so I guess the idea behind this is you're probably gonna have a lot of event coins left over this is gonna allow you to save a bunch of stamina not having to sweep for all this equipment right so if we go beyond the equipment there's polish once again not super special but thank you another one of these candy cane magic drops to craft gear um, here is the the blue crystal shard right over here that you can get from farming the hard stage once again this saves you some stamina and allows you to get a lot more crystals real quickly and then lastly you have quantity one magic crystal for awakening the same exact universal currency that you get in the event shop now why is this locked well this is the first time like i've been around the gotcha world for a long time y'all i have never actually seen a game lock an event shop behind a cash shop purchase this is my first time seeing it. So here is the event pack in question, right? So 2,000 paid gems, you can't use free gems, will unlock that premium shop and will allow you to buy all of the things that I just mentioned. Now, at first glance, this looks really awkward, right? Like this is something that we don't really see here in gacha games for the most part, but I totally understand, right? When you see an event shop locked behind a cash shop purchase, like your first instinct is like, dude, that is mad scummy. Um, but I think at the end of the day, when you kind of take a step back and kind of look at you know what you get and what's on offer and how it's compared to other gacha games I, I think it's pretty reminiscent to once again event battle passes or event cash shop purchases which are designed to allow you to get more out of the event if you are willing to spend money we see those all the time um i just think the way that it is you know portrayed in this game just it, it, it i don't know just makes it feel a little awkward in my opinion but um that is the cash shop that is the event and that is the boss also you have total hunt point milestones so if you take a look at this as you score points defeating the boss, you're going to get a slew of rewards here. So tons of resource materials, tons of upgrades. This is definitely a pretty solid event all the way around for boosting your overall account. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and do the guild boss attempt as well to make my guild proud. So if you don't know, my guild in this game is called Ooh Woo. Um, I'm not really sure what the maximum. Oh, my God. The guild version of this dove is extremely powerful. Dude, I got clapped for real. <laughs> All right, we definitely gonna do some summons here. I, I'm I'm acting like I'm about to go real deep in the banner, dude. I got enough to do one multi pull, but you know what? I'm feeling good. I've been getting really shafted in this account. Like my very first tutorial pull was like amazing, and since then, dude, it's been mad booty. <laughs> Not the good kind, of course, as you guys know. I'm um, not doing too terrible here. Very good, as long as we're kind of holding on. And once again, there's so much time in this event. Make sure you join a guild. Get your free event currency. Get all your free, all your freebies. You love a good holiday event. This is the very first holiday event that I've covered here. Um, I gotta say that Crunchyroll is off to a pretty decent start with this game. Um, I already thought that the base game was pretty. Oh wow! I already, already thought that the base game was pretty decent. 
Um, but we already got, you know, some banners. We got a nice little full featured event um, with uh, story and voice acting. So not too bad so far. So we're about to jump into the summon session. Now, one thing I found interesting, and I don't really see this super often, is that on the event characters, check this out. If you own an applicable character, you will gain the bonus points, right? So you don't have to actually use them in combat. If this description is accurate, as long as you have them on your account at various different power levels, you will get those points. So this is kind of helpful if you get an event character, but you don't necessarily want to power them up and use them, you can still get the bonuses just by having them on your account, which I definitely love to see. All right, so let's go for Alexia here. I got one good solid summon, baby. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Please don't let me down. What happens to your exchange points after uh, the banner ends? I looked at the, uh, the question mark, like I actually tried to do my own research and uh, I came up with nothing, real talk. Dude, what? <laughs> Dude, I was hoping that little lag session would be a, a crit. Everybody was telling me there's no such things as crits in this game, but you know what? I don't believe it. Maybe you just didn't have, you haven't had a crit yet. Ready to see one? All right, there's no crits in this game. Rip. Dude, that's all my currency. That's all I had. <laughs> all dupes.